in the last video, we found out what acceleration was. We looked at how it compared to a constant velocity, and we also determined what the acceleration equation was. Acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. That is, the rate at which the velocity changes. In this little video, we're going to look at what a positive acceleration is. And before we do that, let's talk about acceleration just in general terms again. Let's look at three different situations where an object is accelerating. These are three acceleration situations that you'll really want to understand. An object is accelerating if any of three things is taking place. If the object speeds up, it's accelerating. If an object slows down, that is also accelerating. And the third situation when an object accelerates is when an object changes directions. In all three situations, an object is accelerating, speeding up, slowing down, and changing directions. So let's take a look at why that happens. Well, it's obvious when it speeds up, that's generally what we refer to as acceleration. If an object starts at zero kilometers per hour, it speeds up to 10 kilometers per hour in two seconds, that means that the velocity is changing over time and the object is accelerating. An object is also accelerating when it's slowing down. That's referred to as a negative acceleration, while speeding up is a positive acceleration. A change in direction, however, also indicates that an object is accelerating. And we can see that if we look at this scenario. Let's take a, a car and place it on a road and that road goes around a curve. If we place the car right here, and again we're looking down on the top of the car, at point A, if the driver looks at the speedometer, he might see that the speedometer tells you that his, you know, he might see that his speedometer says 30 kilometers per hour. When he gets over here, halfway through the curve, we'll call this point B, and he looks at the speedometer, the speedometer might again say, well, that he's going 30 kilometers per hour. If he gets over here to point C, it's gone all the way around the curve now, he looks at the speedometer and the speedometer says that he's still traveling 30 kilometers per hour. So you might look at this and you might say, well, if the speedometer says 30 miles per hour or 30 kilometers per hour all the way around the curve, he's not really accelerating because the velocity is constant. Well, actually, that's not true, because this, because this isn't really velocity. This is speed. There's no direction here. If we add a direction into this, then we see something different taking place. At point A, his velocity is equal to 30 kilometers per hour, and that might be to the east. If we look at point B, his velocity might be 30 kilometers per hour, and that is southeast. And we come down here at point C, and his velocity is equal to 30 kilometers per hour, and that's going to be south. So the reason he is accelerating when he changes direction is because the velocity is changing. The velocity goes from 30 kilometers per hour east to 30 kilometers per hour south. Remember that velocity is calculated using displacement. And displacement has a direction. And so if the direction changes, then the velocity is changing. 